One very interesting and increasingly uncommon plant community found within the Ozark region are glades. Glades are open, rocky, and thin soil grasslands usually found pocketed within forested uplands with a south to west facing full sun exposure. They can contain many plant and animal species that are unique to glade habitat. These glades are dry and arid, desert-like growing conditions for any plant that calls this type of habitat home. What type of adaptations do you think species of plants that grow here would have evolved to survive drought conditions? One commonly seen adaptation amongst glade plants is pubescence, which is the presence of hairs on part of the plant, such as on this glade coneflower, Echinacea simulata. In botany, these hairs are called trichomes. Why do you think that plants would evolve this adaptation of having hairs along the stems and leaves? What benefit could these hairs provide? Some research suggests that these hairs regulate the amounts of solar radiation from hitting the photosynthetic cells inside the plant tissue, essentially shading their foliage in these intense sunny conditions. Other scientists suggest that these hairs may also slow water loss in some plants and deter animals from eating or damaging them as well. A plant would have a hard time recovering from the loss of a substantial amount of above ground mass in such a harsh environment. And on a fun side note, the hairiness of plants has added much detail to the Latin nomenclature of plants. Some very fun examples of terms to use uh, that describe varying degrees of hairiness are hirsute, hispid, ciliate, pylose, scabrous, strigose, tomentose, or velose, just to name a few. And just to show you how often hairiness is used to describe plants, there's even a commonly used term for when plants are smooth and lack hairs of any kind, glabrous.